Hey guys, what's up? Me Nafiz, welcome to New Arts. Today I'm going to show you how to improve your conceptual diagram skill in the field of architecture and uh, urban design uh, using the 3D software and Photoshop. Let's get started. So what I did here, selected parallel projection to make appear as diagrammatic loop. Previously, I used some views with the parallel projection using that one to make a dramatic look. This two style of the SketchUp is going to be the game changer. My first objective is to create a nice shadow through a video rendering. Just few simple settings I will do. Uh, first, go to the video option and click on the global swatch. Turn on the override material. I also want to render in the high resolution. If I'm taking so 3000 pixel into 4000 pixel. You can keep uh, the um, lighting settings as default, but I am using here uh, as some bitmap graphic to manipulate my lighting and shadow a little bit. After say checking all this, let's make render and after finishing the render, I want to save both JPEG and PNG file. Now it's time to generate the line effect from the style view and save it as PDF. So this is the default style from the SketchUp. So I am exporting as a PDF right now what I need for post-production. Let's open the view in the Photoshop. I have to resize a little bit in the Photoshop. Now it's uh, looking really great after resizing. Uh, and I have to edit a little bit. A really interesting feature of this thing is that you can edit in Adobe Illustrator this smart object and you can edit any lines or something so when you ever bring any PDF as a vector object you can easily edit by double clicking from Photoshop to Adobe Illustrator. Always make sure to keep your layers more organized way therefore I am opening few folders to keep my layers more organized so here we go I want to keep the same scheme with the other diagram so now I am taking some color codes matching from that scheme So primarily while you color anything, always select very basic color. After this period, we can give any kinds of simple effects to make it more appealing. To merge with the background shadow and nice effect, I want to put my layer into the multiply mode so that it blend with the background. Now it's time to play with some green, selecting down some rooftop areas, open spaces, riverfront dikes and uh, the following the same process to fill up with the solid color.
In the next step, randomly we'll use the watercolor brush to make a dramatic effect in a whole sum. So I have downloaded some watercolor brushes and I will cho uh, choose them randomly. Uh, but you have to play with, with the rhythm while you use this brush in your graphical effect or this diagram. The more flexibility you have with the brushes in the term of effect and the final result. And this is the flexibility while editing in Adobe Illustrator and want to show a little bit organic shape in the riverbank area. So I am editing again in Adobe Illustrator and putting some curved lines. You can see what exactly what I'm doing and to make the riverbank area more exciting. as uh, the water level is lower and uh, that would be really great if we could give some shadow inner shadow so i want to use the inner shadow option from the photoshop uh, in the river area so we can feel the depth of the river from from this effect here we go we, i have a bunch of collections for the people trees furniture I'm going to use them for the post-production uh, in, in this the visual diagram. Now I have copied the first three layer and placed in the layer uh, with, uh, while copy the multiple trees in the same layer. As a consequence, uh, you will feel that uh, the file is not getting so much heavy. So try to copy any content in the same layer. make a little variation with the other style so that I can cover the whole uh, with a lot of diversity it will uh, it will be more important steps this type of diagram has the ability to highlight the building blocks large intervention areas following the same process will create activities with a different shape, style, and size peoples and the furnitures. During placing people, it's very important to uh, scale it to the right size so that it's not look so bigger or disproportionate comparing your build form, trees, or other elements.
The objective is to make an interaction with each other so it depicts a story between them and make your visualization more interesting to the viewer. So we are getting closer to the ending. This is the final output. But to place some small plants in other uh, river bank areas also. Alright guys, if you have any question, just comment down below. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like and share. See you in the next time.